How's it, Indian Cowboy? DocSports.com connect on Friday, January 21st. As we get this video to you, I've drawn this time. Nice free winner yesterday as we gave you uh, Arizona as they routed Stanford. It was on back to back free pick winners, actually. We gave you the Pistons the day before, and they ended up winning outright in that contest. So hopefully, we'll get you another free pick winner today. We are on a 4 and 1 back to back and 4 and 1 free pick run, not to mention. Uh, 25 and 15 in the last 40 days. Uh, pretty good run there, 31 and 17. And uh, yeah, for the last month, uh, we're over 60%, uh, which is typically, uh, which isn't uh, rare for us. Uh, we do that quite often, actually. So hopefully we'll get you another free pick winner today. And how about this? We're getting it to you a little bit earlier today, too. And uh, But yeah, your free pick winner today is going to be hopefully between uh, the Blazers and the Celtics. And also give you some additional thoughts, some extra bonus thoughts here between the Heat and the Hawks and Michigan State and Wisconsin, Illinois and Maryland in just a second. YouTube Premium, that video is already out for you. And that's between Fresno State and Nevada and the Thunder and the Hornets. And we did a YouTube Premium live show uh, for clients, uh, for members on Thursday, where we gave you uh, close to 15 extra free picks, including football selections. So a lot of great content for you as well uh, over there. But hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. And this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for um, for 18 years now. And Doc Sports has been around for 52 years. How this works, our best selections are over at DocSports.com. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections. Extra video every single day, two extra thoughts a day, a live show on Thursdays or Wednesday nights rather. And uh, so there we have about 15 extra selections usually and uh, 100 extra selections, uh, you know, a month just for $20 a month, which is pretty awesome. You can join by clicking on the link below, um, pinned to the comment, pinned to the comment section up top. It also has the link to free sixty dollars worth of premium selections over at Doc Sports as well. And then, if you want even more content, you can hop on over to Twitter, uh, which will have our uh, our latest trends on late night ball games, which are really useful, or consensus polls on what side the public is on, plus really exciting and fun trivia as well. So, what do we have on tap today? We have two college basketball selections today. We have two NBA selections today, and the two unit NHL selection. The football card is out, four selections. We went 3-1 and one last week, hitting the seven unit on the uh, Bengals. We hit the seven unit on the Chargers the week before, uh, or on the Raiders over the Chargers the week before. We are 14-6 and six in football top plays for the season. That's 70% in football top plays for the entire football season. We're 61-41 and 41 in the NFL this year for plus 6,800. It has been a fantastic football season, the best football season in our 18-year career uh, at Doc Sports. So we're happy about that. We're on a winning NBA season. We split yesterday. We did win on the Pelicans. They won out, right? And then the Mavericks, oh, they were up by eight going into the fourth quarter, plus the two and a half. We got 10 points to work with in the fourth quarter. And then the Suns do what the Suns do. And then they ended up missing the cover. The Mavericks missed the cover, that is. So one and one in the NBA, college basketball, USC came through, and then we fell short. Oregon State did not. So one and one in NBA and one and one in college basketball. But uh, as it relates to hockey, we're plus 3,500 on the year. We were plus... 4265 last year so winning hockey season winning nba season winning football season and hopefully we can get on a run in college basketball again two college basketball selections two nba selections we feel pretty good about it and i think we have a great shot at uh at doing really well in the basketball card today all right for your free play today give us the blazers plus the points today getting a lot of points here with the blazers as they face boston um I like the Blazers here, plus the eight and a half against Boston. I know uh, Portland has a bunch of guys missing today, but that's okay. So no little and no Powell today, but Smart is listed as questionable. And the Celtics are one in five in their last uh, six ATS home games against a team with a losing record, meaning that when they should beat certain teams, they don't really show up. The Blazers could easily cover this game. They are 18 and 26, but they're not playing that bad. They're playing pretty well, actually. They fell apart at Miami, which is a shame because they were actually up big that game and then Miami came back all the way. Uh, Boston won by 28 points the last time these two teams met, um, you know, about a, uh, several weeks ago. I think it was back in November, actually. But the thing is that I think the, Boston put up 141 points on them in that game. That's not going to happen here. Uh, obviously, Portland is going to get up to face Boston much more than Boston getting up to face Portland. Um, the Blazers have actually won four out of their last six, haven't they? They beat Brooklyn. They beat, um, you know, Portland was up by two against the Heat heading into the fourth quarter, and they ended up not covering that game. And they were nine point or ten point dogs. Uh, I feel bad for for Blazers backers in that game. Uh, anybody who loves underdogs, it's a shame to see these underdogs falling short late in the fourth quarter sometimes. But I do think the Blazers hang tough today to have a little bit of revenge. Portland, here's the thing: Portland was a seven and a half point dog in Washington, and they won outright. And the Celtics were seven and a half points favorite against Chicago, and they won in a blowout. 
So when you're seven and a half point favorites over Chicago and you win in a blowout and you're only an eight and a half point favorite over Portland, uh, I will take the points. Blazers plus the eight and a half is our free play today. I also like the Hawks here today. My Atlanta Hawks have now won back to back games. They're trying to make a run at it, try to get back into the playoff hunt here. Uh, they've won the, the Heat have won the last two head to head. I wish the um, I wish the Heat uh, didn't play so bad in their last game before ending up uh, coming back to win. But the Heat do have the Lakers on deck. The Lakers are in Orlando right now, and uh, that's actually one of our premium selections today. But uh, I hate that uh, I hate going against Miami or the Phoenix Suns because they're both covering machines. But the Hawks had six guys in double figures in their last game against Minnesota. Uh, no Gallinari today though, but he had and he had 15 points in their last game on Friday night. Uh, I'm sorry, he had 15 points in his last game against Minnesota. The Hawks did beat Minnesota, who was playing well. They did beat Milwaukee, back-to-back -back games, not bad at all. Friday night in hot Atlanta, and I think the Atlanta Hawks will be just fine here. Can't go against the Heat by principle, so it wasn't a premium selection. But, um, you know, given the fact the Hawks have lost two in a row to Miami, uh, not a bad public fade. Atlanta shipped out reddish. Uh, to kind of send a message to the team that they kind of want to win now or they're looking to the future and anybody is expendable. I like the Atlanta Hawks minus the points here. I also like Michigan State, Wisconsin under today. Uh, I think I saw 140, but these two teams, I mean, the line could have changed, but these two teams haven't met since 2020. Izzo quietly has the 13th best team in the country. Michigan State has just lost to Northwestern by two. So they're looking for, they were probably looking forward to this game. They just simply looked over Northwestern. They were 6-0 and in conference play before losing that game. Wisconsin just beat Northwestern by six on the road, and they are number two in the country in turnover margin. Wisconsin's a very good team. Greg Card has a good team. They beat Purdue. They beat Houston early this year. This team is legit good this year. So give Greg Card a lot of credit. But Michigan State is off of a loss. Uh, but Wisconsin is a better team. So what's going to happen here? The thing is that Michigan State um, is outside the top 250 in turnover margin. They can be a little loose with the ball, but Wisconsin is number two in the country in turnover margin. Really surprised at how high the total is at 140. I would have thought we actually had it at 134, so it's surprising. Uh, but the Badgers have won this game the last two times. Michigan State does have a little bit of revenge here. I think Michigan State simply has one, will face one of the best defenses in the nation today in Wisconsin, one of the hardest defenses they faced all year. And I think Wisconsin is going to get a Michigan State team that's going to fight like dogs. I think they're going to be a great underdog today. It's going to be a typical Tom Izzo, get up underneath your chin type of game. And that's why I think they're only a three and a half point dog today. I like the under today between these two teams. I'll also take a lean here on Illinois, uh, minus the points here. Maryland is six and 12 ATS. Illinois coming off that overtime loss to Purdue. They played well, but they lost at home. I can't imagine they lose back to back uh, conference games here. Maryland just got blown out by Michigan. They lost the last two games by double digits. They were one and six in conference play. And frankly, they're struggling. Illinois is off of a loss. And I know Maryland on a Friday night at home can be a pretty good team. But Maryland, you know, of course, has revenge from a 12-point loss to Illinois earlier this year. Can they step up and Danny Manning's team win this game? Sure. But is it likely? No. Illinois nearly beat Arizona and lost to them by four points. And Arizona is good. Um, they are that good of a team here, uh, Illinois is. But uh, Maryland, before their back-to-back -back losses, did beat Northwestern. Uh, and they were competitive in three games in a row in conference play, but I got to go with Illinois after a loss here, and come you know, especially a home loss too. Uh, lean on Illinois here. Uh, Fresno State, Nevada, that is your YouTube premium selection, and the Thunder and the Hornets are YouTube premium as well, and uh, that video is actually already released for you. Hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every, every single day. Please take a moment and like and subscribe.